was why he needed to come like Melchizedek. God was in a hurry to appear as a man. He didn't want to wait for natural birth. Because if you wait for natural birth, the man will die without seeing the blessing promised in eternity. So God came as Melchizedek as a man without father and mother. But he needed to be a man so that Abraham can have a physical entity to relate with so that the eternal promise can find the expression in time if God had left Abraham in the realm of God dealing with a man he will have no body to sow seed to he will have no body to give tithe to and because there is no such spiritual transaction the harvest promise will not come so God came down as Melchizedek and when Abraham met the man he was a man the man received his tithe and his seed and hear the pronouncement blessed be Abraham of the Most High that was what God had been saying long time the man was not rich but as soon as Melchizedek pronounced it in time such the following scripture and the man became rich in silver and in gold in cattle and in servants why a man pronounced in time what God had been saying in eternity can I talk to somebody here when God saw that that worked he said that we apply it again and God said to Abraham Abraham he said yes he said follow me I will make you fathers of many nations he said God if you are the one that gives children why not I've been married for some time I don't have a child now and Abraham followed God in his quest for a child and in God's promise for a nation his name was changed from Abraham to Abraham father of many nations even with the change of name he had no children even with the promise of a child he has no baby why it was God saying it from the realms of eternity and because nobody has said it in time there was no season for pregnancy and in Genesis chapter 15 the man started to complain he will say human being he said God I've been waiting until I've pregnant my house up when will you give me a child will my servant Eliza be my heir you have been promising me children, 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 children. See, as they go old, my wife is getting shrinking. When will the child come? God discover that actually, do you know God? Genesis 1, let there be light, there was light. When he said, Abraham, father of nation, the man had children already. But physically none. So, God wanted to bring the baby in time. He looked around, there was no pastor. He looked around, there were no prophets. He looked around, there were no priests. Sir, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost came down as human beings. Hear me tonight, something will hit somebody here. My brother, they came down because if they are there speaking, the man will die without a child so they came down and pretended as if they were passing by the perception of Abraham he said this man don't look ordinary I will bring them to my house I will honor them I will serve them I will respect them they don't look ordinary and Abraham ran to the three men and brought them to his house ladies and gentlemen Abraham killed for them a kid of animal he gave them milk and food he had this he didn't know he was dealing with God he thought they were men when the gods act like men they stood and spoke like a man Abraham where is your wife he says she's in the tent he said hear this by this time that was the first time time was mentioned all the while God was promising without a date I will make you great. You will have plenty of children like the stars. No date. You will have children like the sand. No date. But when God came as a man, so that Abraham can relate to him as a man, God know the chop food. But when he came as a man, he needed to eat, not because he was hungry. That is the perimeters for timing. God does not need his animals when he killed it. But ladies and gentlemen, in the dealing with the man, a sacrifice was required. And when they ate, 
they said Abraham where is your wife he said in the tent he had the words of God he said Abraham by this time next year your wife shall conceive and bring forth a child hear this if you are Sarah I will excuse you because she laughed in doubt why wouldn't you laugh God has been saying it you didn't get pregnant he did this man your husband brought from the wilderness like has men and fed them that we say next year God said I will have a child I didn't get pregnant is it this man they are drunk with the food we gave them don't mind them my husband she laughed why she laughed was because she felt God said it she is still bearing men can't say it and it will come to pass she didn't know that God brings men to pronounce timing. She was not aware that God came in the realms of men to create her season. Ladies and gentlemen, whether she doubted or believed, the timing has been prophesied. The husband has received the man. Friends, that was when Sarah conceived. And she said to herself, anybody that hear this, he will laugh with me because timing had become my portion. Hear this, I stand on this altar by the power power of divinity by the anointing of this conference that began from the first day on the grace of every man that stood here wherever you are and whatever you have been waiting for i don't care how long you have waited for it i don't care how long you have prayed for it i don't care how long you have fasted for it i stand here today by the anointing of this grand finale i should live here enter your breakthrough enter your breakthrough Empty your breakthrough. Empty your breakthrough. Empty your breakthrough. Lift up your hands and shall fire. Shake your body and shall fire. Move your leg and shall fire. Yeah, yeah. Slap your neighbor. Say it's my time for exploit. If you believe that, say I hear. Say I hear. Say I hear. Hear.